going to be a quick video on how to uh, get around in Panama, including rent a car, using taxi, using buses, using Uber, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, the best way to get around long distance um, is to rent a car. Most rental companies are present in Panama City. There are some local Panamanian companies that are not advertised on social media and are not available on uh, um, Travelocity and Expedia. I use Kayak to uh, book my rental cars. The uh, rates are really, really cheap, starting from $5 a day for economy car to 12 bucks for an SUV. Uh, the rates, though, are bare bone. Expect the rates to double at the uh, rental place for the mandatory insurance that will magically equal your daily um, uh, rental rate. So instead of 12, you'll pay 24. Instead of 5, you'll pay 10. Uh, and doesn't matter if your credit card covers some of the insurance. There is no mandatory insurance. They'll push to you. In terms of um, driving um, within Panama City, it is crazy. Nobody's using the turn signals. Um, everybody's cutting uh, themselves off, but it's uh, not worse than I've seen in New Delhi in India, for example. So the driving conditions are okay. People still drive, and they manage not to collide and crash into each other. The traffic is okay, uh, with the exception of the rush hour in the morning and the uh, in the afternoon when people go to office and from offices, and uh, Friday evening where people are trying to escape the city. Uh, in terms of uh, the roads in Panama City, they're okay. Major highways are maintained. The side roads are not maintained, and uh, you will need a four-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive to drive around those because a lot of them have potholes or they are, they are washed out um, by the rains. Uh, there is this section um, from Panama City to Costa del Este. Uh, that is paid. Uh, normally, if you rent a car, a lot of them from a reputable company, they have transponders already on them, so you don't have to take care of carrying cash around to pay for the toll pass. Um, if you uh, are staying with Pan inside of Panama City, it's, it will be cheaper. Probably it makes more sense to take Uber. Uber is really cheap. From the airport to um, the downtown Panama City, it's 30 bucks. Within the city, it's five ten dollars tops. Uh, for taxi, taxis are everywhere. Um, in terms of you um, haggle and negotiate the price before you get into the taxi, there is no taxi meters. Uh, normally, how you can determine what the price should be, what the fair price should be, is to go on the Uber app, set your destination, get Uber, get you the rate, and offer the same rate to the taxi cab driver, nine out of 10, they will accept. Uh, again, be prepared that none of them, none of the taxi drivers will speak any English. So have some basic understanding of Spanish. In terms of buses, uh, uh, they're everywhere. Uh, Panama City has a little metro line as well, M, uh, marked as M. Uh, here on the map. Uh, buses are everywhere. If you need to go outside the city, um, all the buses go from Oldbrook Station. Oldbrook is a big mall over here, and uh, all the buses go from this area. You can pre-book or you can go and buy a ticket on the spot, but I advise you to buy in advance. Uh, the tickets go from um, a few dollars to 10 or 20 bucks to go to the other side of Panama. Um, and the same applies to the rest of the country. Uh, the buses, small and large, go along Highway 1 and Highway 2 and Highway 3 to Cologne um, and between Bouquet and David. Uh, they're everywhere. So from Bouquet to David, for example, it's, uh, I think, just over a dollar to, to travel. Uh, seniors get discounts, so it's really, really inexpensive. And the buses are good air conditioned and such. In terms of coming back to the rentals, um, if you uh, want to rent a car and return the car, make sure you're renting and returning on the days and times of day where the rental uh, place is open because a lot of them are closed on Sundays and Saturday is not a full day. And a lot of them are not open 24-7. So be cautious of that. Plus, uh, when you return the car, make sure you return the car at least an hour before the closing time because it may take 
an hour or sometimes more if there's a lineup to accept your car. It's not like dropping the key in North America and the contract and walking away. Actually, they inspect the car, make sure everything is good, uh, that you cause no damage to it, that it is a clean condition, that the tank is full of fuel before they accept the return, and that can take some time. That is uh, all for this video. You have a beautiful day.